Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, November 28th, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, this is a briefing for snow safety planning and we've got a winter storm on the way. Let's take a look. So when you look at the jet stream, that's that kind of rivery looking thing in front of us, the red areas indicate the highest winds with that jet stream. And this is actually a rendition of the winds at about 20,000 feet. What you see is high pressure is much reduced down by Baja, Mexico. And we've got westerly flow coming across and this is gonna produce some pretty good snow in the northern Wasatch. So what we're gonna start in the Logan Mountains and what we'll look at our snow totals 12 to 20 inches with snow water equivalent 1 to 1.8 inches. It's going to start, it's really starting today, but in earnest Wednesday evening, tonight through Saturday morning. And then what we'll find is the greatest snow intensities are going to be Thursday night through Friday morning with 1 to 2 inches per hour. The snow levels originally will be about 6,000 feet. And then as the cold front comes through, uh, into that time frame on Friday morning. Then we're going to have snow go down to the valley floor with decreasing snow trends. It's important to note that we're going to have moderate density snow for the great majority of this event. And then as that cold front moves through, that's when it's going to decrease. And it's very similar to what we had in our last system. Winds won't be nearly as high as they were in our last system. Gusts up to 40 during Thursday night into Friday morning out of the southwest veering to the west. And this is, we're going to see this all the way through this briefing for the most part. When we look at the northern mountains, and this what we're looking at is Powder Mountain, the snow basin area. Uh, snow totals 12 to 20 inches, 1 to 1.8 in water. Again, it's going to start today, Wednesday night through Saturday morning. And then greatest snow intensities at uh, uh, the same time, Thursday night through Friday morning with peak snowfall. It could get up to 2 inches per hour briefly, but most likely about an inch per hour. And that same snow level at 6,000 feet down to the valley floor. Winds are going to be very similar, 40 miles an hour gusts at the highest Thursday night into Friday morning with sustained winds somewhere around 20 to 25 miles an hour. When we move to the front side, this is Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude area. These areas do quite favorable when we have that southwest flow and the westerly flow. But what we'll find is uh, amounts higher, 14 to 24 inches with this storm by Saturday morning. 1.2 1 to 2.4 inches of water possible at the highest elevations, that 2.4. Same timing, Wednesday night, it's going to start. Saturday morning, it's going to end, and then we're going to have... The greatest snow intensity is at that same time frame, Thursday night through Friday morning. With peak snowfall rates, probably about an inch and a half per hour in this area. 6,000 feet, it's going to start rain below that and then down to the valley floor with those same moderate density snows uh, until the cold front gets here. Winds might be a little higher, 45, possibly up to 50 during Thursday night out of the southwest, and then they're going to decrease. Wind's not the big factor during this event. It's a pretty moist system for the most part. When we jump over to the backside, we're looking at the canyons, Park City, uh, Deer Valley, uh, and Sundance. We're going to see lesser amounts like we typically do in these systems. 10 to 18 inches, 0.9 to 1.4 water, same timing as when it's going to start. And then uh, really the same time for the snow intensities, maybe up to an inch and a half per hour. And still 6,000 feet is our snow level, and it's going to decrease. Winds are going to be a little less in this side than it was at, and, uh, on the front sides. So maybe 40, 40 miles an hour at the gust, maybe a little higher Thursday night through Friday out of the southwest and then veering west depending on what timing that occurs. If we slide over to the Uinas, and really what we're looking at is Windy Peak, Windy Ridge up that way uh, for some of the snowcat operations. 10 to 18 inches, 0.9 to 1.4 for snow water equivalent. Storm is going to begin Wednesday night. Saturday morning, it's going to end, and then we'll see Thursday night through Friday morning. This system is very... Uh, homogeneous for the most part for northern Wasatch. We're not going to see a big variability for each area uh, as it's a big westerly flow coming at us. Um, but most of those things are going to continue. When you look at winds, maybe about 45 miles an hour Thursday night, Friday morning out of the southwest and then veering to the west, uh, that could be a, an issue. But really, the winds aren't the story here. So 
there's the contact info. There's me. There's Glenn Merrill, who does this with me. Um, really, I can't emphasize enough how this system is going to shift uh, the avalanche conditions. So please, before you go out, take a look at the Utah Avalanche Center's webpage. They do great work. They're in the same room as us. And I can't emphasize that bit of information could save your life. So there you have it. Brian McInerney, hydrologist with the National Weather Service. Until the next storm, we'll see you then. See ya.